Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this afternoon news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin with this afternoon news report right now. Man arrested in 1988 killing of 11-year-old girl from Salem, New Hampshire. Melissa Trembley was stabbed to death. Investigators on Wednesday announced the arrest of an Alabama man in connection with the fatal stabbing of an 11-year-old New Hampshire girl in 1988. Officials with the Essex County District's office announced the arrest of Marvin C. Skip McCalvin Dunn. Junior, 74, of Berman, Alabama, on a fugitive from justice charge for an arrest warrant connected to the killing of Melissa Trembley, 11, of Salem, New Hampshire. On September 12, 1988, Trembley was found stabbed to death and left in the path of a train in Lawrence, Massachusetts. The sixth grader was had been with her mother at a club, which is a block from the rail yard. Trembley had wandered out of the club and was never seen alive again. Trembley was an only child, and her mother has since died. In recent years, childhood friends of Trembley ignited a social media push to bring new attention to the case. Andrea Ganley, a childhood friend of Trembley and a longtime advocate who has labored to keep the case alive, said she's having trouble processing the fact that an arrest has been made, but she always believed this day would come. I always had hope. I just didn't know this day would happen, she said. It's been so long, and I worked so hard to find some closure to this. Officials said McCallendon, a retired Massachusetts Deputy of Corrections, employee, department employee, is in the custody of Clement County Sheriff's Office and will be arraigned in Alabama courtroom on Thursday, tomorrow. He has been a person of interest for a period of time. Essex County District Attorney Jonathan Bulget said, I can't say if he was surprised or not, but we believe we have the right person. Bogat said evidence found on the girl's body was instructable in solving the case, but he declined to go into greater details about the nature of that evidence. He said more information will be released when Mc Halden is arraigned. Trembley's family, including aunts and a cousin, were notified of the arrest Tuesday night and Wednesday. The district attorney said they were happy and relieved that an arrest has been made. It's unclear when McCalladon would return to Massachusetts. Bold to get said that will depend on whether he waives extradition. And that does it for this afternoon news report right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for tuning in and watching this afternoon news report. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.